I was really for wind energy. I thought it was fantastic. I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great to have five or six turbines stretched out across our farm? You know, I thought that would really be great, a fantastic thing. We could contribute to society and produce energy. About maybe three or four years later, um, all of a sudden, log trucks started rolling across the mountain and they started clear cutting and lo and behold, I'm in town and I'm talking to some people and, you know, I ask, I say, you know, are they cutting timber up on top of the mountain? And they're like, well, yeah, didn't you hear they're putting wind turbines in? And I'm like, no way, I, you know, who's, who's having this done? And they said, well, the people that own, own the mountain up there, they're going to have the top clear cut and they're putting 20 wind turbines in. And it's kind of like all of a sudden this major industry comes into this real quiet area and they pound these things up really quick and uh, they come in and they put no trespassing signs up and they move out. By, by doing this DVD, um, I, I kind of wanted to share with some of the people the things that we've experienced, that I've personally experienced. Um, when the wind turbine company decided to build on Sand Spring Mountain, less than a mile from my home, um, I was unaware of the situation at first. I was told that there was a small article in the local newspaper that they were going to build a wind turbine facility. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I can't believe this. I, like I said, I've lived here all my life and what's, you know, what's coming into my backyard? I've lived in this area probably about 30, 30 years I've been in this area. I was away for maybe a year or so. Uh, I operate, I operate uh, my parents' farm, which is located between three and 4,000 feet away from um, the Myersdale Wind Power Plant. I work construction uh, probably about six, eight months out of the year. Uh, and the rest of the time I'm working, working on my parents' farm. And I kind of grown, have grown accustomed to loud noises. Uh, unfortunately, this is a noise that I haven't grown accustomed to, and I can't seem to, can't seem to get out of my mind when I'm there. Um, I kind of equate it to a, a, a heavy wind or a storm coming over the mountaintop or a, a jet taking off. The noise has personally affected my life um, and the fact that in my house um, you can hear the turbines running. Um, they make a lot of noise. Um, at night time when you lay down to sleep, if you don't get to sleep right away, um, after, after everything kind of settles down in the night you'll hear like that, the thud noise of the, the turbines, the blades turning. and it's. It's kind of a, it's kind of a drone sound. It's it's a constant sound. It's like thud, thud, thud. We hear it's it's kind of a whooshing or a thud sound. It's a constant, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh inside our homes. Just so you know, here. see this little, that, that big dot? That's the optimum where you want your audio. Now if we'd be quiet for a minute, watch where those lines are hit. It's astounding how much noise they actually do make. Yeah. Right after the turbines had been put in and they had been turned on and they were creating this amount of noise, I could not sleep. I was losing sleep. It was affecting me at work. I was going to work. I was being grouchy. Um, you know, I would, I would get maybe one, two hours of sleep per night. I just couldn't take it anymore. So I went to the doctor. The doctor per, uh, prescribed a medication for me. Um, the medication is a sleep medication. When the doctor prescribed, or prescribed it to me, the doctor told me that I um, needed to be careful taking it because uh, the doctor told me that sleep medication is addictive. Um, so that's not, you know, I don't want to be addicted to a medication, um, but at the same time I need to get my sleep. Um, so I'm kind of caught, 
You know, I'm kind of caught in the middle. What do I do? We lived in Germany for three years. Uh, when we were in Germany in the early 60s, there were vineyards climbing up over the mountains, and it was beautiful, and the uh, industry was very strong. I don't know how strong it is now, but I do know that we went to Germany in 2000, June of 2001. We went, we toured all over Europe with our son. Our family's mainly military, and our son is in the Air Force. He was stationed in Germany at the time. Uh, the vineyards are only climbing like part ways up over the, the mountains now, sitting on top all around you, everywhere you go. You see these t wind turbines. It's, it's a horrible sight. I think people need to take care of what they have and take care of the beauty of the environment around them instead of destroying it for the mighty dollar. We bought our property here in 1966. My husband came, was in Vietnam. He came home from Vietnam at that time. We bought it for the view. We bought it intending to live here in our old age. And whenever I sit on my front porch now, I see those wind turbines spinning around. They don't help, they don't make life any easier. Uh, I sell real estate for a living. 